Hey YouTubers, it's your buddy Platt here, and today I'm going to show you how to make chocolate pudding bombs. So let's go! So this summer, since we haven't been doing a lot of brewing, the theme's kind of been different uh, sweet liqueurs, uh, we did a video on how to make jello shots you can check out. Um, also did how to make ch candy shot glasses, chocolate shot glasses. So I thought we'll kind of continue this theme. And I, I got thinking, we got football season coming up. And there's going to be plenty of tailgating parties, football watching parties. And we're always looking for different uh, fun treats for the parties. And I thought today we'd make something that I think would be perfect for a, a tailgate or football watching party. And that's chocolate pudding bombs. Uh, real simple to make, just a few ingredients, and like I said, I think it fits in the theme of what we're doing, but also going into football season, great little uh, fun dessert, fun way to add uh, another uh, alcoholic treat to your game day presentation. So let's see what we need to make our chocolate pudding bombs. Here's what we need to make our chocolate pudding bombs. First, you just need a small box of chocolate pudding mix. Um, this being the first time we make this recipe, just dip with chocolate. There's a ton of different flavored pudding mixes out there, but we're just going to go with plain chocolate. Next, you're going to need coffee liqueur. I'm using Kahlua, but whatever brand's fine. And the same for the next ingredient, which is uh, coconut rum. We're obviously using Malibu, but again, another brand doesn't matter. And last but not least, we're going to need whipped topping. The standard uh, container is eight ounces. We're going to end up using four, but uh, just your standard whipped topping brand be damn. So now that we got everything together, let's make some chocolate pudding bombs. So our first step in making these pudding bombs is we're going to empty our package of pudding mix into a bowl. Um, whatever you got, it's convenient. Let's dump everything in there. All right, we got that in there. And the first thing we're going to add is three quarters of a cup of our Kahlua. And we're just going to whisk this all together, make sure we get all the clumps, lumps, everything out. And this is going to take us a minute or two to do. So I'm going to whisk and then we'll come back to add the Malibu rum. Now that we got our Kahlua stirred in, we're going to stir in three quarters of a cup of the Malibu rum and this as you'll notice the uh, pudding got a little thick so you're going to need to take another minute or two to stir in the Malibu and so while I do that we'll wait and come back and our final step will be to add the whipped cream so let me continue to blend and we'll be right back so after mixing the Malibu, I realized I needed a slightly bigger bowl, so I transferred to a larger bowl. And now we're to our last step, which is to put in four ounces of whipped cream. Now, like I said, the, the standard container that I got is eight ounces, so just half the container. Makes it pretty simple. Should be about enough. There we go. And we're just going to whip this all together. Now, this is going to add a nice creaminess to this, uh, to the pudding. Um, you can also substitute heavy whipping cream if you like, but uh, I know when I make cocktails sometimes, like a something like a key lime martini or chocolate martini or whatever, that if I used whipped cream, you know, even the aerosol whipped cream in it, I like the creaminess it adds more than just adding traditional cream or even a heavy, heavy whipping cream. The There's a little viscosity, you know, to it that I really, really like. So let me stir this up some more, make sure everything gets blended. And then we'll come back to uh, portion out the pudding pops. Or the pudding bobs, I should say. So last thing we're going to do is we're going to portion up the pudding bombs. 
we're just gonna take a bunch of these little souffle cups, uh, similar to what you'd use for a uh, jello shot, and we're gonna put in about an ounce or so of the pudding in the uh, the bottom. And you can use a little plate like I do to sit up or, or a tray or whatever. And we're when we're done portioning these out, we're gonna throw it in our fridge and we're gonna leave overnight, allow it time to set up, thicken. Um, conceptually, you can. Throw it in your freezer and it'll work a little faster, but the refrigerator is just fine. I um, suggest that you do this uh, pre on uh, the night before the game or, you know, prepping up ribs or whatever you're doing the night before. This is perfect for that. Um, if your mom ever lets you uh, bake a cake or cookies to the kids, she always lets you uh, lick, lick the beater. I suggest the same for this little recipe. Well, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, Feel free to uh, leave comments, uh, any suggestions. Please like and also share the videos. And if you have any anything uh, you want to suggest on uh, future recipes, episodes, or whatever, feel free to contact me also on the Twitter page. Well, until next time, bottoms up. Mm-mm-mm.